You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, We offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love. O sacred hearts, O Lord. May all hearts be united to your sacred heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O living bread from heaven. Lord, Jesus Christ, meek and humble, you died on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice, sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves we turned and walked away when you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us we often closed our hearts instead we prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus We do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise. For you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, O adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your ending grace. Let all who acknowledge you, King of kings, praise you and thank you, day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be opened, and they may become your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops, especially we pray for Archbishop Brown, we pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are sick, 
especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, neurological diseases, neuromuscular diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who are grieving. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the sacred hearts of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit so that we may be able to be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, bless us with the gift of love all according to your will, and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy, you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Christ Jesus many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray, according to your will, that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. King of Peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world. Here am I. Send me. Look kindly upon you. Servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now as O Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will, to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you, O sacred heart, for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and scream me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love, so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I am so glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope you'll be able to join us later on when we do afternoon and evening prayer and that you will be able to join us on a daily basis as we do these prayers every day, three times a day, God willing and technology allowing. If you like to submit a prayer request or if you like to find out more about our ministry, come by our website at sacredheartsjesus.org. That is sacredheartsjesus.org. Also, we have an application in Google Play. Just go to Google Play. When you get there, in the search form, type in Sacred Heart of Jesus Chapel. Again, type in Sacred Heart of Jesus Chapel. Once you type that in, our application will come up or should come up. Once you bring it up, install it. And after you install it, you will be able to submit prayer requests as well as interact with our ministry in different ways. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the day. Don't forget to share and reshare these prayers with as many people as you can. You never know when there's someone out there who is seeking the Lord and or at least they're seeking something. Sometimes they don't know what. Their heart is empty. And by sharing these prayers, you are giving them the opportunity to have an encounter with the heart of Jesus. And you know that once Jesus touches a person's heart, the hearts will be changed for the better. You know that once a person allows Jesus to enter into their hearts, that he will come in and sup with them and, and they with him. And so don't forget, you must share the love of Jesus and this is one way of doing so. And it only takes one second of your time, but this second, this one tiny second, could mean a lifetime of difference to someone else 
out there.